In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to connect to a database, a MySQL database, using Secure Shell. We'll look at changing your password, which is really important, and we'll look at creating some simple tables. Once we want to, we have to connect to Secure Shell first. Once we've connected to Secure Shell, we connect to our database using the MySQL command. We put the U flag in and we specify our username, which is exactly the same username as you used for Secure Shell. And then we put a P flag in to, to um, tell us that we're going to supply a password. Once we've done that, we can supply our password. Now, even though the passwords are uh, the password systems are different for Secure Shell and MySQL, by default for you, we've set them to the same value. So we need to enter the password that you entered originally for Secure Shell, the one that's on the spreadsheet. and now we're into the MySQL application. And you can see this by looking at the command prompt, which is now changed to MySQL. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change, we're going to have a look at our password. And we have to now issue SQL commands because we're now in the SQL program. So to change our password, we use the set password command. And we always finish commands in SQL with a semicolon. So now my password has been changed. So first of all, we'll type in show databases. And this will list all the databases to which we have permission. And as you can see, there are two. There's Information Schema, which is the database that holds all the information about usernames and so on. And obviously you've got access to your own login details there, but we won't touch that one. Underneath it, you can see another database, which is your own personal database on the system. So we need to type in the use command and your database. And now we are in your database. If we type in show tables, we can see there's no tables at the moment. Well, that's because it's your own database. So now what we're going to do before we create any tables, we're going to exit and try and log in using our, our new password. Okay, so we type in exit and we're now back at the shell prompt. So now let's log in again, and this time we're going to specify our database at the point where we log in. So there's our original login that we used, and now we're going to specify our database in the save at the same time. Now we enter our new password. and we're back into the MySQL application. So now we can simply create our tables and do anything on the database by typing SQL commands at this prompt. So the example I'll give is we'll create a table. And I can run my SQL commands over multiple lines because the semicolon is what delimits the end of the lines. When I press enter, you can see it's got the continuation characters there. So there's my ID field, which is of type integer, obviously. And it's going to be 
the primary key, go into auto increment, let's see underscore, and it's not null. Then a comma, and then we'll put the title in. And we'll make that a 64 character string. We'll finish off with an author, and that can also be a 64 character string. Now, because that's the last field I'm adding, I simply press enter without a comma. I close my bracket, I opened on the create table line, and I finish with a semicolon. And now it should have created a database table for me. So if I type in show tables, it now shows me that I have a single database table in my database. And to look at the fields that are in there, I use the describe command. And as you can see, it shows the three fields, the data types, whether it allows nulls, the primary key field, the default value, and any extra information for that particular field. And that's now the end of the lab. So I'll exit MySQL and I'll exit Secure Shell.